So when we get to this area of the top, I don't tell you what you want me to tell you. The reason being that I'm a very conscious person and my cognitive spirit and my intuition is always working. I've come to the realization that there is a scheme against us. And this scheme is basically to make us timid. But how would they make us so? It's because they wanted to tell you the history of your own ancestors and they tell you about the painful aspect of it. So that wherever we think of our ancestors, we only think of pains, but not their positive traits. Because with that positive trait, they are so scared that we would cast our minds on that. Just imagine somebody to be relying on the plant just to survive. It tells you their creativity and innovation was at the top. For somebody to endure almost over 300 miles walk, go through the dungeon and spend almost six months, go through the middle passage and work on the plantation and even survive, that person's endurance and determination is something that you cannot match. Even when they were dying, they were still supporting each other to live. The love and the sacrifice that they, they exhibited. That is the kind of things that we need. We don't need to cry. We need their positive spirits in order to move on. And when we have all these spirits in us, no one could even get closer. Even when we've lost it, not lost it completely, but because we are not concentrating on that, they still cannot defeat us. So imagine us concentrating on it. That is why we come in here. All our focus is on that, on those streets. Now, you can go to the river, but when you want to go to the river, there's only two things that prevent you from going there. First, is when you're a lady and you're having a monthly flu, you don't get closer to the river. But the most important one is the only way you get to the river is when you are ready to forgive the past and embrace the future. Because we don't want you to come here and go as the same version of yourself. You have to go as a better person. So when you forgive someone, sometimes it's very, very difficult, you know. But when I forgive you, it doesn't mean that you will never be punished for the crimes that you've committed on me. But it's just that I don't want to even have you in my thinking because Shakespeare said, when you did dislike me, I'm still in your thinking because everything you think about me. So we try to forgive them and let them go and do their own, face their own destiny. But for us, we only wanted to have a peace of mind. So whilst we go into the river, we give a minute or 30 seconds for you to ask yourself this journey that you are about to take. To forgive all these pains in the state. To forgive all these brothers that have caused you wrong. Are you ready to forgive? When your heart tells you you are, then we go to the river and you go through three important rituals. And when we're done with the rituals, then off we go. So, just a few minutes and ask yourself whether you are ready to forgive. But my answer is you should forgive. Do we have answers? Do we have answers? Do we have answers? Are you ready for me? It's tough, but you are too. You came here for a reason, and maybe this is why you are here. It is so heavy. It is so painful. Yes, we know. But today, they are telling you, let it go. Forgive. Because what you've seen, you know 
but what is ahead of you, you've never seen it. So maybe the bad phase that you have come, to, you have gone through, what is ahead of you is much powerful and stronger. So you don't need to go along with the pace. So forgive. And let's go to the river. And I tell you, you would always try finding my number, but you never get me. Just to say thank you. Just leave it all out. Your ancestors are ready to carry on. Because they don't want you to suffer the same way they did. So they are ready to just wash off all your pains, all your things. Just forgive. Just give it to them and just have a free life to live. If we are ready, you follow me. If you are not ready, don't worry. There's always another day to be ready. So.